Can you explain what the last couple of weeks have been like for you? Um, a team that's not really playing for this year, and now you're central to a team that has great promise. What's it, what's it feel like? I mean, it's been weird. Uh, just overall, like, um, it's it's like a weird experience um, getting traded and like not really having time to get your life situated because you're just starting with basketball right away. Um, but and from a basketball point of view, it's been great. Um, yeah, first first game was like a little bit like getting thrown in the deep end, but then like every game, I feel like I'm I'm just getting more and more comfortable with every practice. Like, so yeah, it's it's actually been a lot of fun playing. You welcome the responsibility you have now on a team that is certainly playing for something this year. For sure. I mean, that's that's what you play basketball for at the end of the day. Is because you want to win, and you you don't want you don't just want to win like a basketball game. You want to win to get to the playoffs, to get to the finals, to win championships, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's that's what makes it fun at the end of the day. Nick was saying yesterday that you came to him. I, I don't know exactly what. He said you were pretty much knew what was going on offensively, but defense it was so different from what you were doing in San Antonio that it was taking some time. What have what have been like the biggest things you've picked up and uh, as the games have gone on? Um, defensively or yeah, in general? Defensively. Uh, I mean, it's just the, the aggression in general that's that's um, a major difference. And sometimes you're almost putting yourself out of position, but um, you're you're pressuring the ball handler and you're trusting your teammates that they're going to have your back um, behind you, uh, like coming for a trap, coming in for a steal, some stuff like that. So it's a little bit counterintuitive when you're used to playing a little bit more passive, where you kind of have to protect yourself. And now, like I'm being aggressive, I'm I'm putting myself out there in in almost like bad defensive positions because you you trust yourself that if you if you speed your man up that somebody else is there to pick up the slack and on the other hand if if one of my teammates does that that I'm there to pick up the slack for them and like um, that I'm able to make a play on that so that's that's like the biggest mental um, adjustment I guess so it's just a matter of like the more reps the more it, it gets closer to second nature for sure yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. Like you can you can practice it. You can like I can think about it as much as I want. Like it'll, it'll, it'll over time it'll become second nature. Nick was saying before the game that this is one of those matchups where he's especially happy to have you here. Uh, I'm sure you and JV had some pretty intense battles of practice uh, early in your career. What did he mean to you over those first couple of years? Uh, JV is uh, he was great. Um, very. I don't know, like very intense guy on on and off the court. So like, uh, he, it really taught me something coming out of college. Like, um, I don't know, like I, <laughs> the life in the NBA is not sweet. I guess like, uh, um, he's a really physical guy, and obviously he, he probably still is, and and definitely was back then more physical than me. So that definitely gave me um, somebody to like practice with, like knowing knowing what it's like to play center in the NBA. Is that something you try to impart on young guys? Not that life's ne not necessarily sweet, but that like things are tough in the NBA, and that you gotta work and, and be physical and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like I, I feel like that's that stuff you just you learn that um, more or less throughout your first couple of games in the NBA, maybe even uh, sooner in training camp, stuff like that. Like you just it's just a matter of how fast you you're able to adjust to that um, and, and some some people never do like it's it's not easy obviously like that's why um, it's it's tough to get to the NBA but it's even tougher to stay in, in the NBA. How would you describe the Raptors culture before you left when Kyle was obviously the leader and now when kind of Fred and Pascal are, are kind of more in charge? How does it change? Oh, it's difficult. Um, I don't think it's changed that much. Maybe that's just for, like from my perspective because there's still so many familiar faces, um, and I think Freddie and, and Kyle actually have a pretty similar leadership style. So from that point of view, like it's um, it, it feels similar. Um, yeah, tough, tough to say. Yeah, how did uh, the All Star break help you get used to being back in Toronto, both with the team and in your personal life? Um, to be honest, I used uh, the All Star break mainly for me to like get like a mental reset and also like um, physically to just um, get some rest. Like the NBA, like it's a long season and and we've all been playing for for a long time. So for me, it was it was more an, an opportunity to get away a little bit um, 
and then as soon as we got back to practice here, like I got back into the mindset, I was back on <laughs> trying to pick up the, the new flow of, of this team. You represent a really big guy on the roster that the Raptors haven't been playing with for some time. Have any of your teammates vocalized quite often, like, nice to have you back, like, to have a big fellow back at the moment, anything like that? Uh, I feel like I, I get that stuff more on, on social media and maybe in the media than in the locker room. Like, I mean, I'd, I'd hope some of these guys are happy that I'm back, but <laughs> you're going to have to ask them. This team has really made a concerted effort to have a lot of extra practices uh, because, as Mike was saying earlier in the season, there was some lack of maybe focus or professionalism. Since you got here, just how different at this point of the season is kind of the practice, like amount of practices and just kind of the work that you guys are putting in right now? Um, yeah, that's different for sure, at least from, from my experiences um, so far. Yeah, we've had like as, as, ever since I'm back, we've had full practices more or less every every off day. So there there really hasn't been a, a true off day yet. Um, maybe for for some of these guys like like Freddie and Pascal, but um, yeah, we've just been working. Um, and and I think it's like obviously it's exhausting, but I, I think it's key, especially for me early on like this, so just to like get reps in, like learn all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I actually see it as a positive. At least for now. <laughs> what impact is, is it to have the active down the stretch there, getting those offensive rebounds when some of the shots weren't falling and really kind of seemed to keep uh, the Pelicans uh, at bay, sort of, you know? That was really big for us tonight, for sure. Um, just being able to have that presence down there, getting those offensive rebounds, putting it back up. Uh, it just shows it on both ends with his rim protection. And then on the other end, being that big presence in the paint, uh, weren't missing, being able to get those rebounds put in late in the game, that was big for us. A couple, I mean, you were playing point a lot tonight. There's a couple of plays where they would attack the ball, you with the ball, and you could just kind of outlet to him in the middle of the floor. And you could just kind of get it to Jakob in the middle of the floor and just sort of calm things down a little bit. That's kind of helped too. Yeah, he's a smart player. Uh, I trust him when he's out there on the floor. Uh, so I could just throw it to him if he deep seals to be able to put it up or even if he gets an elbow catch or even at the top of the key, uh, be able to go right into the next action. Uh, he's a smart basketball player. Uh, so that's why we can just trust him in those positions uh, to be able to play make from the top or the elbow or wherever he is on the floor. Scotty, you won five of six headed into the All-Star break. How important was it to continue that momentum when you returned? Uh, we need these wins uh, in order to try to make this deep playoff push. So every game is very important to us. Uh, so we just got to keep trying to win and play hard every time we step on the floor. Over the last two months, you've always had lots of assists at the NBA level, but your assist to turnover ratio has been like three to one, which is really, really great. You came into the league as a really great playmaker, but what have you learned in your year and a half about playmaking against NBA-level defenders and creating for NBA-level teammates? Um, I think in the NBA, it's easier to get assists, to be honest. Uh, in college, if they take like a dribble or two, uh, you don't you don't really get an assist in college. Uh, and then people at this level, they make they make tough shots, contested shots. Uh, so it's, I feel like it's easier to be able to get assists in the NBA. Uh, being able to attack, uh, so much space on the floor. If someone helps, you can just make easy kick out reads. Or uh, if someone helps, like the big man helps, it's easy to give, get it to a roll. Or like I used to do, uh, get a top of the key and dribble handoff, set a really good screen. And Gary come off and he shoots that midi. That's an easy assist. Uh, so I would say it's easier. As far as being able to limit the turnovers to such a degree over the past couple months, I don't think I really try to force anything. I'm just trying to make the right basketball play, uh, so it, it works out. Study, uh, maybe a month ago, Nick talked about sometimes with the team when you guys were struggling, a lack of effort, a lack of professionalism at times. Do you think those things have improved over the last month or so as you guys are really playing better? And if so, why? Uh, for sure, I feel. We all felt like we wasn't really stepping up to our standards, uh, really trying to guard the ball, defending the ball uh, like we did last year. And we went over that. And we all had a, a meeting that we just really wanted to just get back to it. Uh, so we, was go we started playing harder, guarding the ball better, uh, closing out to shooters, um, 
not allowing them to get so many easy looks. So I feel like we just came together and picked up our slack. You guys have also been practicing a ton over the last month and just kind of really focusing on the work. That's been the message. Has that helped you personally, those extra practices and that extra film sessions and all that stuff? Because you're also kind of playing the best basketball right now. So do you think those things are correlated at all? Uh, it helps for sure, watching extra film, uh, having that attention to detail in practice. Uh, but I feel like that's one thing that we all just try to stay in the gym, keep trying to get extra work. and. No matter if it's within practice and on our own times, we just still always try to get extra work in. Nick talked yesterday about getting you more catch and shoot three point opportunities. When the ball swung to you and you catch it on the perimeter, what are you thinking about either taking that shot or to drive and make the next pass? What do you think about when you catch the ball there? It just depends on how I feel, uh, really. If I want to shoot it, I'll shoot it. Um, if I want to drive it, I'll drive it. It just depends on really how I feel. If I really want to take the shot, uh, if I don't, it just depends on how I feel. Is that in terms of like being in a rhythm from previous possessions, or, or what do you mean by that? Um, just depends on if I want to take the three. Time, score the game, momentum. Uh, if I'm open, I really need to shoot it. My teammates keep encouraging me to shoot, I'll shoot it. But sometimes I just want to get to the rim and be able to attack. Uh, if I sit wide open lane and to be able to attack, I want to catch it and go and try to make a play from there. Scotty, Jakob is such a willing passer. How have you noticed him impact the team's off-ball movement when he catches it in the middle? Like I said, he's a smart player. He knows how to make the right play and make the right decisions. Uh, he sets amazing screens, so I throw on the floor, and no matter – where it's out on the floor, he's going to try to get that defender off of you. Um, like I say, he's just a smart player. You can play through him at anywhere, the top of the key, the elbow, the block. Uh, he just wanted to make the right, the right plays. What did you make of Chris Boucher's sequence when he had that dunk and then the block? Chris Boucher, he, that was crazy. He almost took off from the free throw line. Uh, he always gives it hard effort on defensive end, uh, rebounding, trying to get block shots. Uh, he always comes up big in those categories for us. How was it having the OG and uh, Gary back in the lineup? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, having OG's defensive presence, uh, he's still he's still trying to. I feel like he's still getting back in his rhythms. Uh, of course, he's gonna have some fatigue. Uh, haven't played in a while, but I'm sure he'll get it back soon. Uh, but he still just helps us so much out there on offense and on the defensive end. Um, so we love OG. We, his presence is undeniable on the floor. And Gary, he's a tough shot maker. Made that big shot down the stretch. Uh, we need we need him for sure. Uh, he brings that intensity on defense, trying to ball pressure, and then our offensive end. We see what he does. Any thoughts on the atmosphere for Caribbean Heritage tonight? Huh? Any thoughts on the atmosphere tonight for Caribbean? Yeah, I mess with the vibe. You know, get a little bubble in before the game. Uh, Felt good. It, it was. I like hearing that. Uh, it's a good atmosphere. First game uh, back from All Star break. How did it feel out there? I think it felt good. Got a little bit of rest off, but I think we uh, uh, executed the plan. Uh, played good defense. So I make it hard on them. They hit tough shots, so we thought was good with that. Was there anything that you were kind of focused on in the in the break in particular? Did you dress? Did you get some work in? Yeah, I stayed here and got some work in, so uh, just trying to get better, trying to make the, you know, the right reads, but also just keep it in the rhythm because I feel like I was in a good rhythm. So. And then, of course, that dunk you had in the game, um, what was going through your mind? What was that like? I'm trying to dunk every time. I think in transition now is one thing I'm trying to do. Obviously, I want to make the right plays and all, but if you give me the chance to get there, I'll definitely try to. Uh, how does it feel to like, kind of make those energy plays, and what does it do for the team in terms of just like adding that spark for the rest of the game? Mm, keeping the energy high, I think we're, you know, we are really playing with a lot of intensity and all, so I'm um, just trying to do the same thing coming off the bench and um, be a present, you know, whatever I got to do, rebound or whatever. Um, you know, I'm just trying to, it makes my job a lot easier when I do it uh, every, game, every game. And then, of course, like playing off of Jakob, um, you know, with his presence down low, you know, kind of, you, you have to maybe make some adjustments in, the, in terms of playing your game, but do you feel 
um, his presence down there, or like how does it feel playing with him? Yeah, I mean, he's taking a lot of the space and all that, so that definitely um, helps out. Guys got to close out to him sometimes, just uh, playing defense, scoring and all, so it gives me openings. And uh, for offensive rebound, just another guy I could fight with uh, in there. And um, like I said, he's a good passer, good IQ, so that definitely helps all of us around. Coach was very impressed with your minutes tonight. First of all, like, you know, you guys are coming off of a break. Um, Immediately just throwing you into the game. Good job, Joe. <laughs> How did it feel to be out there? Um, you know, it felt great. Um, yeah, definitely just coming off a break. Um, it was a, a big win, great team effort. Um, it just feels good to come off a break and get a win. Um, obviously, like you know, was there anything like that you were working on specifically, or like looking to to add to the to the team immediately when you got on the court? Yeah, um, you know, just defense. Um, picking up 94 feet. You know, guarding the ball, just putting pressure on the defense. Um, just making, uh, uh, just being disruptive, trying to get a passing lane, do whatever I can to stop the other team from scoring. That's kind of been the main focus for me, and that's pretty much how I'm going to, uh, you know, get minutes on the court, so just defensive focus. How do you, like, not let the pressure of, you know, making sure that, you know, you're not checking behind your shoulder to see if you're going to be pulled off the court and get to your head instead of just, like, focusing and locking in on the game? Yeah, um, you know, just worry about uh, what, what you can control, the intangibles. Um, you know, when my name is called, uh, I'm always ready. <laughs> my name is called, I'm always going to be ready. Um, even if your name is not called, you know, you always just, you know, anticipate that, you know, of course, might just throw you in there any time. So I'm always prepared. Um, I think, you know, just practice, you know, playing the game the right way has prepared me for, you know, whatever opportunity I'll get. So. What was it like to get that extended first shift? You know, <laughs> stuck with you. No, it felt good. Uh, you know, I guess uh, I was continuing to get defensive stops, and, um, you know, just coaches kept me out there. So kind of just, you know, keep playing consistent, keep doing what, um, whatever they want me to do, and um, I guess that'll give me more minutes. You had several possessions uh, defending CJ. Uh, you know, he's got so many different, like, feints and moves. Like, what did the keys to defending a guy? I'm just going to make him uncomfortable. Um, you know, a guy like that, you know, a lot of different moves in his arsenal. Just try to make him a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, try to make him uh, make him hit tough shots. Uh, try to you know, take away a lot of his spots and just make sure he doesn't get to a rhythm. If he, for the past month or so, you guys have been practicing a ton. Nick has talked about kind of the road trip you went on, keeping it professional, tons of extra shooting and practicing. How different has your experience been here, especially in the last month, compared to other NBA teams you've been on in terms of kind of that workload, the practice load, and kind of just the focus on work? Yeah, you know, um, I would say, hey, you know, we work out a ton, 24-7. You know, we're always in the gym, mm -hmm. um, you know, just working on different things and trying to get our skill level up. And I know it just translates onto the court. You know, you can see us, you know, getting a lot of open shots, you know, being aggressive on the offensive end. And I know everybody's just constantly, you know, just staying in the gym, you know, working, um, you know, grabbing your shooting coach or whatever, just getting constant reps 24-7. So, um, you know, I love being around guys. just love to work no matter what. How is, is that kind of how you would describe the culture here in terms of just like a working life culture? And, and how does that fit you and your, your personality? Yeah, you know, definitely. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a workaholic. You know, I'm going to be in the gym 24-7 constantly. You know, getting work and getting extra reps and doing things like that. And it's great, you know, being around a lot of guys that, uh, you know, are the same way as me or even, uh, you know, more competitive just in the fact that, you know, there's guys in the gym, you know, I'm going to get in the gym too. Just keep continuing to get that extra work in. So a lot of us are pretty much all in the same. Just We just want to work and just want to get better. How would you find the atmosphere tonight with the Caribbean Harrison? I loved it. I loved it. You know, great fans, one of the greatest fan bases in the world. Um, you know, they came out, gave us a lot of energy, and he was able to feed off that. <laughs> kind of defense you want to see for 48 minutes your routine. It was very effective, I thought, most of the night. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think it was tough. It was um, really good rim challenges. The only uh, probably issue was we I thought we gave up a few too many threes in transition. It seems, seems to be, you know, again, something we've had to deal with a little bit. It's something we're working on. It's it's um, needs to get a little better, but I, I was pretty happy with the Ball pressure, the you know, just again, I thought we were big at the at the rim. You know, we, we made them take tough shots, um, and we protected the rim on a number of occasions when it looked like the play was in trouble, right? And we saved them, and we were able to get out the other way. But I thought the the concentration, the effort, and the execution of of what we were trying to do was was. Was was good. Was solid. Yes. You know, there's some concerns with Jakob's free throw shooting, but if, and his ability to play down the stretch of close games. But he got the offensive rebound and made a free throw. Another offensive rebound. The more he does that, the more you can trust him in those situations. Like, 
game? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think uh, it's all fair comments, but I think he was humongous at at getting us extra possessions. He was he was you know protecting the rim down there. Um, he won a jump ball for us, which we we we've struggled on those this year too. So he, he's he you know he did uh, so many good things. I didn't even look at his numbers. I know he had a ton of rebounds at one point, but um, yeah, 18. That's a good number. Yeah. Offensive boards in the fourth quarter in the last Huge. three minutes. Like yeah, and that and that was like encounter. You know, they they brought Nance in because they wanted to blitz Pascal with the speed and athleticism, and and Yach made them pay for that, right? Which you know that's what you need to do when when they're making a counter move. Your counter move is you stay big and you got to make them pay down there, and he did. What uh, were you hoping to see from Jeff tonight in that sort of guard off the bench role? Yeah, listen, I just think that he's um, really solid, and he's been really solid for us all year. Um, really competes defensively. Got a little bit of burst to the rim in the pick and roll. Um, and I thought he was excellent tonight. And for, in fact, his first stretch was, you know, it was extra long because he was playing so well, right? I mean, I, don't, I think it pushed up close to 12 minutes, maybe. Yeah, 11, 12 minutes. So that's. That's pretty good for a guy who hasn't played all that much for us. So he, he's he's solid. He gives us another ball handler, another organizer. And I just I think where he really helps us though is on the defensive end. He makes plays down there. I think you've talked for the past maybe month or so about kind of upping the workmanlike attitude, more practices, uh, attention to detail, professionalism. What do you make of kind of the trajectory of the team in that regard? Are you seeing benefits from that? A little bit like I said to you guys yesterday and maybe before the game today is, you know, adding another player and getting a couple guys back from injury should enable us to play this much more intensity throughout the course of the game. And I think that was the case tonight. There was a lot of subbing moving around in the first half, much, much lower minutes for the guys. You know, I, I mean, I know it's only three or four here or there, but that, that makes a big difference to, to, to play 16 or 15 instead of 19 or 20 in the first half. It enables us to, to again, go out and, and increase our work rate at the defensive end. And that's what we want to do. We want to we we make things difficult. We want to disrupt rhythm. Um, and you need energy to do that. So that's what I make of it. In regards to like the attention and detail and kind of like blocking out the noise maybe, do you think those increased practices and, and just again that attention to more, more work has kind of helped in that regard as well? Well, I think that, listen, when, there, when, there was, when there's issues, you got to try to plug the hole. Right? If it's transition, if it's defensive rebounding, if it's guarding the ball, if it's rim protection, I mean, like, like there's there's been some issue, you know, you and there's there's going to be, you know, I just mentioned one. Like tomorrow, we're going to be working on some sort of defensive drill where we're matching up in transition, you know, that we got to communicate a little bit better. And it, and it seems, and you know, again, we've done a lot of studying on some of this stuff too, and we got to get there's certain guys that are getting getting, you know. That need to need to be more verbal and need to need to sprint harder or whatever it is to get better at that. So we'll continue to do that because I think if if you looked at the half court defensive sets, there most were pretty good. We made a few mistakes, but nothing like we were making three months ago. Like you know, like there's there's a few mistakes in coverages and schemes, but but nothing like nothing. I mean, really solid as far as executing the schemes tonight. Chris had that sequence at the end of the third, the big dunk. And that the was pretty cool. Of three. Yeah. What, what is a, a sequence like that, or, or yeah. a stretch? I mean, like that's that that's that's again? Chris, right? I mean, he's just he's gonna he's gonna make some spectacular plays. He's gonna do them at both ends. He he makes he makes something happen, right? Isn't always good, but tonight there was a sequence there where they were great, right? So he makes things happen and plays with tremendous energy, and that that is, you know, what we what we need from him off the bench. Were you taken off from a stump too far? Nope, he always dunks those. I've seen that, I've seen that many times in practice. You talked about filling big holes. I mean, you had some pretty big shoes to fill tonight without Fred. Yep. How how much time did you have to prepare for that? Like how quickly? Uh, I mean, I had a pretty good idea that that he wasn't going to be here maybe around four or five o'clock. Um, and I and I just again like um, we you know we went through the the pregame. Uh, walk through without him, obviously, 
and uh, you know if he'd if he'd have showed up for whatever reason, we would have pl plugged him right in there. But but um, I mean it, it gets a little tricky. I mean you know Scotty moves to the one, and you're trying to figure out who the ball handlers are, and you, you know bring Jeff in who hasn't played much for us. You know so, but but those were all things we we thought about going into in case we didn't have them. So the, the defensive execution is a lot better than it was three month, months ago, and I think it's very apparent tonight. But what do you think? Well, why do you think that is like, specifically? Well, I think I think Savannah, it's just been getting a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, right? I just I just think it's 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 been making progress to getting there. Um, the question is, why weren't we playing better three months ago? Probably, right? But again, lots of pieces moving, lots of lots of things uh, going on, just whatever, and probably put some of that stuff behind us. We've put the trade deadline behind us. We've put All Star behind us. We've done a heck of a lot of work, um, and we've added a, a, a good rim protector too. So there's a lot of little things there, and I think, you know, I've said this probably four times at least since I've been back is. We got to get this team to play this kind of defense, right? This this is who we are and who we can be, and and if we do that, then we're we're going to again. I think, I think the offense um, had some moments early and late where we didn't where we didn't make the right plays, but there was about 40 minutes in between there where we did, right? Anytime Pascal got doubled, he got right off it, and we found the open. I mean, the offense was was going pretty good, and I don't think we're in great rhythm. Right again, we got a couple guys that that are sitting out there that can shoot that have some <coughs> rust or injury things are still coming back from that that that'll that'll even improve. But I think we were making the right plays on offense. That last, that last play with the Trent three, yep. uh, it seemed like he was just in Fred's spot. That yep. Is it nice Same play. To, is it nice to know who you guys can run it with? You know, yep. even with different guys. Yep. Sure is. <laughs> See you later.